I don't know why I always feel better closing the door to film videos. I feel like they can't hear me, but they can. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because I'm sharing with you what I bought myself for my birthday and I've been doing this for a while and basically I feel like every woman does this now once they reach a certain age where they can spoil themselves and buy whatever they want. So basically I just bought myself a lot of makeup and usually I just buy a couple items because my birthday lands on the Sephora VIB sale so I usually get like four or five things but since I'm not in Florida right now, I'm supposed to be at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter actually, I decided to use my refund from the resort to just spoil myself and buy makeup just to make myself feel a little bit happier and yeah. So if you are new, my name is Courtney. I would love for you to subscribe. I make videos about makeup. I talk about makeup. Sometimes I do makeup tutorials. I'm not really good at it, but sometimes I do. Um, and yeah, I just do random videos. I really like doing a mixture of everything. Vlogs are like my top rated videos. So stick around if you would like to see what makeup I bought myself for my 25th birthday. So first thing I bought is number balloons. I never had the numbered balloons that all the girls have for their birthdays and I know it's been a trend for a few years so I finally bought some on Amazon and I cannot wait to blow them up and here is the picture that I took with them. Some of this stuff I just showed in a vlog so I'm just going to show you them real quickly. The one major thing that I really wanted to buy was this Clinique Cheek Pop in Melon Pop. I have been obsessed with blush lately and Honestly, this is a year of blushes and I am on that bandwagon. I am obsessed with blushes. I've been buying so much blushes lately. You will see. But this one I have been eyeing for, I want to say a good six months now. It's been in everyone's like makeup collection, makeup ranking videos. And I finally decided to pick it up and I love Clinique. So I don't know why it took so long to pick it up. But I finally picked it up and it is so beautiful. It's in Melon Pop like I just said. And it is such a pretty peachy pink. I love it. I've only used it once, but I really like it. It's really creamy, but then it's like a little powdery. So I don't understand how that works. It goes from like cream to powder, but I really like it. So the next one I picked up was by e.l.f. and it's called Always Cheeky. This is another peachy pink blush. I've been obsessed with them lately. This one is so peachy. Like you need to be careful when you put this on. You, you just got to go light handed because it is so peachy. The next blush that I bought was the Kylie Cosmetics blush in We're Going Shopping. I really like this. I saw this on like two channels and I was like, yep, I'm picking that up because it is so pretty. And this is just another hot peach color. It's so beautiful. It does, so it looks really, really orange, but when you put it on your skin, it is very light and buildable and it's so pretty. And I haven't had one of their blushes since she like opened Kylie Cosmetics. So, um, but then I, I threw everything away cause I didn't use it. And I gave them to my sisters cause I never used them. I didn't like the formula, but this one I really like. Okay, so the highlighter that I picked up is a trio and it's from Milani and it is the number three Rose Glow um, Stellar Lights Trio and it just comes with three different highlighters. I use the um, champagne one in the middle a lot. I don't really use the white one um, and I tried this one out but it, it is like um, it's picking up like brown right there so I have not really touched it since. It's really weird. So basically I just use it for this middle color. It's almost like a champagne gold. It's really pretty. I like it. So I also picked up this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and I am trying to get into lipstick. I really want to up my makeup and like just be more girly I guess and this is the JK Magic lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury and it is so beautiful and if you must know the only reason I got this is because it's from it's a collab with JK Rowling and she is the maker of Harry Potter and I love Harry Potter so 
I got this lipstick and it is the perfect nude color. It literally matches my color so well. I love it. And it smells like vanilla cupcakes, which is another plus. And it's so creamy. It's really nice. Um, And then I bought a mini size of the Milk Makeup Bronzer in Bake. And I want to get into cream products because my skin is dry. And in the summer, it's kind of annoying to use... Um, powder products. So I bought this and I'm lo I'm liking it. Um, I'm still not too sure about it because this is a little orange on me still because I am so pale. Hopefully I can get out <laughs> in the sunshine this summer. But yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm glad I only got the mini, but it's kind of sad that it's literally at the end. And then like after this that I finished, it's going to be gone because the bottom is literally right next to close to it i don't i don't know um okay so and then these two things just came in today and i'm super excited um these are the pers persona blushes oh my gosh i can't wait to use these i got the duo so i guess you can buy them singular single or you can buy them together and save like ten dollars i think which is not a lot but whatever so I got both of them and then I got Caramel and Georgia. And the only thing I'm like questioning about Caramel, why is it such a berry pink? But why is it called Caramel? I I don't understand, but it's such a pretty berry mauve color. Uh, I just love this so much. But why is it called Caramel? You'd think that Caramel colors would be a little brown. That's, that's just my opinion. I don't know. And then this one is in Georgia. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at that. It is another peachy pink. It's coming up more pink on camera, but it is peachy. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. I cannot wait to use these. And the packaging is just so, so simple and beautiful as well. Like why am I so attracted to this packaging? It's just the pretty colors. So, and then another thing I purchased because I really wanted it because I saw like three people using it and I was like, I might as well get it, is the Hemp's Hand Lotion. And this is the original one, which is Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. I've been using it for the last week that I got it and I really don't see a difference in this, but I think it's because my hands are so dry from washing them so much, but it, it does smell really good. I think it was like 12 or 13 dollars i got it uh i got it on amazon but yeah it's re smells really great and you know me i am a supporter of hemp and all things marijuana so i really like this i've been using it like 12 times a day because i wash my hands so much because we have to and we need to stay clean anyway but my hands are just so dry and I don't mind reapplying because it smells so good. Okay, so last two products. Do you see this? The Milk Blur and Set Powder. I am not a powder girl because my skin is normal to dry, so I don't need powder. But I've noticed like in my T-zone and like sometimes my eyelids um, are oily. So I have been using this to like set it and it looks good. Like, I'm so happy I purchased this. This was by Samantha March's recommendation. I purchased this and <laughs> I like this a lot. And the last thing that I purchased was the Nintendo Switch. As you already know, I already posted my unboxing and all that, but I have been loving it so much and I'm so happy I purchased this. This was the limited edition one, which I paid too much money for. Way overpriced. I paid more than what I should have paid when it launched but what can you do? But I have been loving this so much. I'm playing Animal Crossing, by the way. But anyways, that is this part of the video. And then I will see you in a second with the last part of my birthday presents. Okay, honestly, I have no clue what is going on with my features. So I, it is May 13th, my birthday. I just uploaded a small vlog. I just wanted to get that uploaded because I didn't upload a video last year for my birthday. So I did that yeah i'm like so washed out i don't know what it is so i'm gonna share what came in the mail today and then in two more days on the 15th i will get the last bit of my makeup and then i will share with you guys what i got for that so i am loving this ring light so my friend bought the uh ring light 
that you get for your phone. It's like everyone's been buying them to do TikToks, but I don't like TikTok, so that's that. But she left it at the apartment and she said I could have it. Thank you. This is awesome. It looks really nice. Now I don't have like a shadow behind me. It does look like I only have one ear. Perfect. Okay. So this is what I ordered from Ulta. I ordered it on, on May 7th. I've been in love with blush and I want to add more to my collection. I decided to pull the plug and buy this expensive blush. First I got a Morphe sponge. I really like these sponges. They're really great. They're soft and they work really well. My cat chewed up the last one so hopefully he doesn't chew this one up. But I need a new one because my beauty blender my yellow beauty blender one is getting really old and I do not want to see what it looks like. So I picked up the cover effect. It's the monochromatic blush duo. It, it comes with a matte and shimmer. I got this one in soft peach. I don't know if I should have got this one or the mauve one, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the, that one next. Oh, this is really pretty. This kind of reminds me of a pill. So huge. Hold on, I need to fix my, I need to fix this. This is in Soft Peach. It's the Cover FX um, Monochromatic Blush Duo. And it is in, I can't believe I actually got this. I've been wanting this for so long and I, oh, she's pretty. Ooh. She is very pretty. She is a peachy pink. We got the matte side, but it looks like it has shimmer in it. Great. And then you have like the highlighter side that has this like ruffle in it and it's kind of like creeps me out. Like, I don't know if I like that. But we're gonna try it. I wanna swatch it. Ooh, that is soft. Oh, okay. That is pretty. Oh, wow. Here are the swatches. The one closest to me is the matte and the one obviously farther is the highlighter. I like them and I think it's gonna look good with my skin. I think the matte might be a little dark to where it could be a bronzer, but it will not be a bronzer. We'll see. I might be able to make it a bronzer. But yeah, that's what I got in this package. And then my last package, mm, I'm so excited because I have more blushes. Okay, so I will see you guys in two days. Okay, well you can probably hear my boyfriend mowing, but I still want to film, so I hope this does not screw up. Now this is the final part to my birthday haul. I wanted to film it on different days when everything came in just because I was so excited to open everything as soon as it came in and I could not wait to open them all. So here we are. It's Friday the 15th and I got my last Sephora package and I also made a Fenty order. Now I'm gonna show you what I got from Sephora first and then Fenty. Okay, so the first thing that I really really wanted from Sephora was blushes. That's really what I wanted to purchase and I did. So I purchased the Georgia Peach blush and this is the full size. Um, I've been contemplating on getting this for so long, like ever since it, since it came out. But I watched a, I came across this channel and this late, this girl was raving about like her favorite products and this was one of them. So I decided to pick it up. I was going to get the mini but then I decided to just get the full size because I'm obsessed with peachy blushes lately. And this is what it looks like. The packaging is really cute. I hate the boxy packaging honestly. Like I seriously hate it but i love i love the gingham peach and this is a golden peach blush so as you can see it has shimmer in it so i'm not too excited about it oh but it's soft Ooh. okay it's more of a peach color on your skin than what it looks like in the pan in the pan it looks like it's gonna be more like a pinky champagne but it is not it's a peach color Yay, I'm excited. The next blush I got was Sugar Bomb, and this is a new shade, but I'm pretty sure it's not a new shade. They just, they relaunched it. A few YouTubers were raving about it, so I decided to get a mini, and I've been looking at it for so long. I just decided to just get a mini. Ooh, that's even pinkier. Okay. Wow, this formula is so, so soft. It really is. The next mini blush I got is in Dallas. Now, Jessica Braun was raving about this, so... 
I got I decided to pick this one up and this is a rosy bronze blush Oh, I like it. It's very subtle. I will definitely be able to use this. And then the first makeup product from Fenty, I got the powder Sunstalker bronzer, and this is in the sun. My dirty hands already. Oh, this packaging kind of feels like cheap. So this is what she looks like. Okay, um, mm, I don't know if it's gonna work on my skin. It's kind of a pale bron like a pale bronzer. It's almost like the chocolate Soule from Too Faced. I'm not too sure it's... I mean, it'll work for now, but when I get tan in like a few weeks, it's not going to work. So I need to start using this now. This is really pretty. So, for my last order, I ordered from Fenty. I wanted to try her makeup products because up and coming, they're like all the rave nowadays. And as you know, I don't wear foundation and I really want to try this foundation. This is the Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I heard it was like buildable coverage. Oh, it's medium to full coverage. But knowing me, I can make it light to medium. And I got this in the shade 190. Now I swatched it on my hand as soon as it, as it arrived. And it's a little pink on me. Like, it's a little too pink. I hope it matches. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Because I can't send it back. I can't send it back because it'll take so long i don't know what to do i have normal to dry skin mostly dry especially in the winter i just try to get everything that's hydrating and then the next thing i picked up was the pro filter hydrating primer and this is it, the instant hydration soft silk finish extended makeup wear hydration so it just looks like this wow this is very sleek and aesthetically pleasing honestly wow that looks nice um the next thing i got was a cream bronzer i don't know about this bronzer as well this is in butter biscuit cute i knew i should have got macchiato i knew i should have got macchiato um so this has bubbles on it okay so it looks dark on camera but it is also like too neutral i think we're gonna try them out in a video <laughs> and then the freebies because i spent so much money i got a uh this was free this was a shimmer skin stick a highlight blush and enhance so this is like a highlighter a blush and anything to like highlight area so if i do my collarbones and this is in the shade trippin so this is pretty it's like a copper peach i'm gonna try this i can't even see Ooh, ooh. this might work really well for my skin tone to be honest this orangey peachy shade i'm going to use this um, stippling brush. My dog and cat probably wonder why I'm talking to a camera all the time. That's cute. Got a little shimmer going on. A little orange blush going on. I like it. I'll probably do more. And then I got a freebie of Amika Flash Instant Shine Mask. So I think this is for your hair. Yeah, so I am excited to try this on my hair because my hair needs it. Okay guys, that is everything that I bought myself for my birthday besides the Nintendo Switch and Animal Crossing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, if you would like to see me do a review on these makeup products, comment down below and I will get right to it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.